when you guys look back at Team USA and what they accomplished in this tournament, what, what do you take away from the World Juniors this year and then maybe the steps and the progression that the red, white, and blue did do? Uh, I, I felt like it was a very close tournament. You know, yeah. like there's, there were about four or five countries that really could have won gold and could have missed the medal. And I thought the Americans really rose to the occasion. When they needed a good game, when they had a tough opponent, they seemed to play better. And it seemed like they even had more in them. They, they were still growing as the tournament went on. Felt like if there was another week, if there was another three, four games, they would have been in even better shape because they were just seemingly getting better every day, which is a testament to the coaches and to the kind of talent they have. And they were right there, 90 seconds away um, in, in winning this tournament. So they were excellent throughout. And, and with any tournament, and especially when you have the parity, and you're, you're absolutely right. I mean, there, there's five or six, certainly five or six teams that, that could have won the, the gold medal. And, and, and really what it comes down to in my mind is, do you get the save at the right time? And, and do you get to score a goal at the right time? And that was really the difference. If you look at the quarterfinals, the semifinals, and, and the final, at the end of the day, that, that's really pretty much what it was, is the, the ability to, to score or to be, the ability to prevent a goal. So it's just, it's just this great tournament. I mean, it's just going to be so much fun for these guys to to play for their country, to meet so many different hockey players that they that they don't know, come together, experience a, a very unique situation. Doesn't happen maybe twice in your lifetime as a, as a junior hockey player. And the opportunity to, to win a medal in this kind of a tournament, I mean, again, you only get once or one or two times, and, and that's it. So it's got to be unbelievable. I liked your question to Coach Hastings because it was coach via coach there. Mm -hmm. Have you ever coached in a tournament quite like this where you gotta you got to get through to your players in such a quick amount of time and get that that chemistry to really gel together? Otherwise, it's you're going to be packing pretty quickly? No, I was never involved in taking over a team with just, like, say, 10 games to go where you gotta you got to rally them and, and and so that, that's a very u unique experience, but it, it, it does take a, a lot of communication uh, just, just in listening to guys that have been through it and being around hockey long enough to, to understand, you know, what's needed. Um, and he's exactly right. I mean, it's the coaching staff, and, and you've got to lean on the guys that are, that are, that are your guns and that have experience with, with the scenario. And uh, obviously, they, they did a tremendous job. But again, it, it's going to be... I, I mean, I, when I was watching those games, it was just like, it's just so exciting because you know there's... Especially when you get to one and you're done. Yeah. Then that, that's just like playing game seven. Yeah. yeah and you, I think you mentioned a couple times there, going with the guys who have experience. I think you also see the, the, the advantage of having some returnees. Building you, a team. If, but if you can team. have five or six or seven or eight, yeah. the more returnees you have, look at, you know, Switzerland had a whole bunch coming this year versus last year where they got bombed out of the tournament. They mm -hmm. had more guys this year. Even though they're young men, having one time gone that's through true. it already really does have advantages the next time. You're more prepared to understand what you're getting yourself into.